Let me tell you a story. There's a student, maybe just like you. They wake up every day with one goal in mind, cracking needle. Biology, they are nailing it. Chemistry, it's manageable. But physics, physics feels like a nightmare they just can't wake up from. And here is the strange part. It is not because physics is harder. In fact, physics has a well-defined syllabus. It's logical, it follows rules. So why does it feel like you are always stuck? Here is the truth that no one tells you. You are trying to study physics the same way you study biology and chemistry. And that's exactly why it's not working. See, physics isn't just a subject. It's a lens to understand how the world works. It doesn't want you to memorize it. It wants you to feel it. And that's where the problem begins. Most students, after a while, give up on understanding and just start cramming formulas and solving endless questions. They think, if I do enough problems, my mark will go up. But in reality, this only gets you so far. You will keep hitting the frustrating wall, 120, 130, maybe 140 on a good day, and then flatline. Because physics, it doesn't reward efforts alone, it rewards insights. Let me walk you through a pattern, you have probably lived this. You attend a physics class, focused and ready, but walked out more confused than when you walked in. You go home, flip through your notes, try to memorize the formulas and complete the homework questions. You repeat this cycle until the chapter ends. Then you solve the exercises as your doubts and hope things will magically keep. Later during revision, you either read your notes again or redo the same exercises. Sound familiar? And it's not that you are not working hard, you are. But this method, it can take you only so far. And deep down, you know that. And here is the thing, your brain needs more. It needs connection, context, storylines, and the reason to care. And that's exactly what's missing. So let me show you a better way, a smarter way. It's not a shortcut, but it works. I call it the three phases of learning physics. Let's dive in. Phase one, building the ground floor. This is your foundation. Show up to every class, pay attention. When you get home, actually revise your notes. Don't just skim through. Then and only then solve the exercises. Most people stop here, but this phase is just the beginning. If you are not even doing this much, let me be honest with you, your marks won't improve, no matter how many mock tests you take. Phase 2. Feeding the brain Now that you have built the base, it's the time to strengthen it. Before start reading theory from book, watch conceptual videos available in YouTube. If you take any concept, there are lots and lots of animated videos available on YouTube. It will build your visual memory, making it easier to understand concepts. Why? because it's concise, structured, and gives your brain the clarity it needs. You can watch any video you are comfortable with. The key here is to broaden your understanding, not just repeating what was taught in the class. This is the phase that takes you from being okay at physics to actually getting it. Phase 3. Seeing the big picture. If you have made it this far, congratulations. You are already ahead of most of the students. Now comes the part that changes everything. Open your NCRT book. Yes, NCRT. You read it line by line. But this time, don't just read to memorize, read to understand. You will see those same formulas you have used hundreds of times. But now, you will learn where they came from, how they were derived, and why they matter. You will uncover tiny theoretical points your teacher never mentioned. They make everything click. Suddenly, physics won't feel like a set of uh, random problems. It will feel like a story. And at that point, physics becomes fun. Now, if you are someone who has fallen in love with physics, you can go deeper, read from H.C. Verma. It won't drastically boost your NEET score, but it will make you fall in love with the subject. Before we wrap up, let me leave you with a few tips that can supercharge your learning. When solving questions, always visualize the scenario. Create a mental picture. Don't expect to understand everything in one day. Give your brain space and time. Let the concepts breathe in. Use space to repetition. For example, if you study one chapter today, tomorrow start the new one but also revise the previous one. As days goes by, stack your revisions smartly. Don't lose touch with old chapters. And lastly, stop blindly memorizing the formulas. Try to understand the definitions behind them. Because once you understand, formulas will come naturally. So if you have been struggling with physics, maybe it's not you, maybe it's the way you have been taught to learn it. It's the time to change that. Build your foundation, feed your curiosity, see the bigger picture. Once you start feeling physics, your marks will rise naturally. Thanks for sticking around this long. If this helped, try applying even one of these changes in your studies. You will feel the shift. And if you like this video, click the like button. 
subscribe and share this video to your friends see you in my next video